What's up guys? Welcome to the CX Racing Overview. Um, I'm going to start with just the turbo manifold and the downpipe because I ordered this not as a complete kit. I ordered just the turbo manifold and the downpipe and the rest of the downpipe. But I'm um, going to talk a little bit about it, my impressions, uh, the do's and don'ts on this kit, and um, it's been kind of a mess. Uh, I waited to make this video because we had an issue with the manifold. I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, also, there's a little something going on with the wastegate. I'll show you guys. Um, overall, great kit. Um, like I said, I waited to make the video. Um, I got this turbo. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Instead of these $250 CX turbo because I don't want a $250 turbo, I've gone down that road before, and it didn't end badly, but I prefer not to. Um, so to start, we've got the manifold, and I'll do a pan shot to this or something while I'm talking so you guys don't get bored of looking at my ugly ass, but um, the manifold's great. Uh, as far as I can tell, the welds look pretty decent, better than I expected. Um, the issue I had was the flange didn't line up. I'll see if I can fit the pictures in the video or something. Um, the main flange that bolts to the head um, lined up really badly, and I was a little irritated. Um, you know, it's kind of a Chinese brand, I guess, so I wasn't really expecting the best, but it was kind of a little bit much. So I actually contacted CX, and I found out that it looks like they got a bad batch of manifolds. Um, they're actually going to be sending me a new one. Um, they've had three people call just this week about it. So obviously it's an issue, they've caught it, um, and their customer service was wonderful. Um, the guy emailed me within minutes after we got off the phone, I sent him some pictures, and he sent me a return tracking label, or not tracking, shipping label, so that I can get the manifold back. They're gonna check it out in person and uh, either repair this one, which I hope they don't, I hope they just send me a new one, but um, they're either gonna do that or, like I said, send me a new one. Um, so, let's move on to downpipe. Downpipe is great. Um, it's two piece, um, two and a half inch off of the turbo and it comes with a four bolt flange. Um, I guess I'll cut to it so you guys can see a little closer look. Two wide band, or wide band, sorry, the two oxygen sensor bungs for the, um, the actual oxygen sensors on the car. Um, I'm not using a four bolt. I'm actually using a three inch V band on the back of my turbo. So I had to cut that off. I also ordered a reducer pipe. It's not here yet, so I can't show you that. Uh, but it looks like it fits really well. Um, obviously I can't bolt it up to find out, but um, first impressions on that, really good. Um, I'll do a little shot of the back here. Um, it isn't welded on the inside. I'm actually gonna go back through and I think weld it or Maybe mushroom it out. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I would like to smooth that out a little bit. Um, the second portion, of continuing on what we were just, what I was just showing you, it also um, is not welded on the inside. I do think I might, might weld it just so that I get a nice smooth flow. Um, this second portion actually has the wide band bones. Um, all these came with blanks, so if you're not using a wide band, you can just block that off. Um, overall, I do like that it's got the flex pipe, that makes it pretty sweet, um, and this does give you enough exhaust to get you out behind the trans. You do have to complete the rest of the exhaust yourself. Um, let's see, what else? Um, I guess, oh, it comes with a 3-inch V-band for the downpipe. Um, let's see, uh, it comes with hardware for the turbo, and it did come with hardware for the wastegate, but I don't know where I put it. Um, don't use this hardware, it's grade. 4.8 and I mean it comes with lock washers they're somewhere upstairs don't use it um, you're gonna want to purchase either Nord lock parts um, I haven't figured out exactly what I do yet um, I am looking for a sort of OEM style copper bolt because those I've never had one of those back out and the closest I can get to OEM the happier I'll be um, what else do we have showed you the v-band uh, the wastegate flange so the wastegate's great, it looks nice. Um, uh, apparently there's an issue, I don't know, obviously I haven't run this before so I'm not sure. A lot of people complain about this manifold cracking with the collector. 
and on the wastegate tube. And looking at the manifold, there definitely is quite a good, like a, a big runner here. And that's a lot of weight for the small portion, especially once you've got the wastegate and the pipe bolted to it. And you have to also have to keep in mind, there's a lot of vibration there. So I can understand it cracking, that makes sense. So what I'm actually gonna do is not use this. Um, I'm also not gonna use a 38 millimeter wastegate because I've been told that this manifold also boost creeps pretty bad. Um, so what we're gonna do is chop the, um, chop this main wastegate runner off, which will also take a lot of weight off of the other side of the, the main portion of the manifold. Um, weld a block off plate here at the collector. And then what I'm actually gonna do is on the turbo, we are going to, on the exhaust side, the exhaust side we're going to weld a 44 millimeter um, tile MVR flange. And I'm actually going to run a wastegate directly off the turbine housing. Also 44 millimeter instead of 38 to try and prevent that boost creep. I'm also gonna be running an Innovate SCG1 boost controller um, because it has some really good safety features that I saw. Uh, I haven't ordered that yet, but I will soon because this thing will hopefully be running in the next couple weeks. Obviously I'll be waiting on a manifold, but um, yeah. So turbo, manifold, um, gaskets. So the kit comes with two wastegate gaskets, um, two exhaust manifold gaskets, and a turbo to exhaust or turbo to manifold gasket t3 um don't just don't it's garbage it's gonna blow apart you don't want that so um the good thing going with the wastegate it's actually a, a v-band style flange so you don't need to worry about a gasket um you're gonna want to purchase oem um either go to the dealer they're not that expensive don't complain about it OEM or OEM manufacturer, if you can figure out who it is, whether it's like Male or I don't know who else would make it, Victor Rhines maybe, I'm pretty sure they're the same company. Um, purchase the OEM exhaust manifold gaskets. They're gonna be the best seal and on E46 at least, I'm not sure, I can't remember on E36 um, because this manifold I'm pretty sure is like, the, the, the flange for the head is the same, but um, they are MLS, so they do crush and the gaskets are really good. Um, I ran them with my eBay headers, never had a leak once. Um, as far as this gasket, the T3 for the turbo manifold, I would definitely recommend either getting like a Vibrant or I don't know what other, I don't know what other reputable brands there are. I just ordered Vibrant and everything. Um, yeah, get a Vibrant um, metal gasket. And we talked about hardware. Um, I will do a whole install video on the manifold because there are a couple other um, sections I want to touch base on, like the exhaust manifold studs. Um, you can actually purchase some really good ones from BMW um, that are their um, like E7 Torx. So you can just screw them in with an E Torx and it's super easy um, for removal and install. Um, if you ever need to take a stud out, they're not really prone to seizing. And obviously if you have an M54 like me, it's aluminum head, so you're really not going to have too big of an issue with that. Um, otherwise, that's pretty much it. Um, I guess the V-band that came with the downpipe is pretty not bad. Uh, I guess the last little bit I can touch on here is the turbo I'm running. I opted, like I said, out of the kit, the full kit, the $1,800 or whatever it is, um, because I wanted to run a little bit bigger turbo, I think, than theirs. Uh, I know the exhaust turbine is a little bit bigger, at least, or at least the AR is bigger. Um, Anyway, so this is a uh, Boost Lab 6262. It was the most reasonably priced dual ball bearing uh, turbo that I could find. Uh, I was originally going to run with a precision, or not precision, I guess I could have done, well, whatever. A 5858, also from Boost Lab. Um, I was advised to run a little bit bigger, so we can, so this, this unit should generate a little less heat than a 5858 because it will be spinning a little bit slower. Um, the only downside is, well, I wouldn't really call it a downside, but this is a dual ball bearing turbo, so it does require oil and water. The 5858 was journal bearing and was oil only, and that was a big seller for me. So obviously I don't really have any experience with it, but you know, having an oil only turbo means you don't have to run coolant lines. It's just less headache. Um, the oil feed and return on these cars is pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, I'll go into that in another video, but uh, basically 6262, um, it's a T3 flange, 
two and a half inch outlet so it goes right into the intercooler kit that they offer um cx racing offer sorry i should specify um it's a three inch v-band um i opted for a um, the extended oil drain and you can see i've got my 10 a.m fitting on there um but anyway oil water cooled here's the the turbo manifold downpipe kit um i think this was around 750 dollars um it's definitely not the cheapest one you can get uh, but i do think that cx has put a lot more time and effort into this whole setup than you would find from your conventional 200 dollar turbo manifold um the only thing i guess we can touch on last and i'll talk about this more in the install video this is just a quick preliminary overview um i am going to add a brace on the collector here and we're actually going to run that brace down to one of the bolts on the ac compressor um, one of the biggest things for this manifold is taking stress off of the collector um, like i said before it is prone to cracking um, so we're going to try and support it underneath here which is probably the, well not probably this is going to be the heaviest part of the manifold so putting a brace here is going to take a lot of strain off of it and hopefully prevent it from cracking um, removing the wastegate flange it's going to take weight out of it um, and obviously moving the wastegate onto here is going to centralize most of the weight on the collector and if the collector is braced shouldn't hopefully have any cracking issues um, but i guess we'll do a longevity test and see how that goes but anyway thank you for watching if you guys like this content Please feel free to like and subscribe. Um, let me know if you have any comments, if you've used this kit, any feedback from me would be great because I'm getting ready to put this thing through hell. So um, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.